Hi, this is Ms. Mala Wintan. It's my science class and they are working on their 3D cell models. It's their uh, last project for quarter one and they've been learning about cell substances, cell organelles and their functions. It's a project-based learning. By doing this project, my students are going to gain an in-depth understanding of cells and their functions. First of all, my students learn about cells in theories and after that I gave out the rubrics to grade afterwards. Um, they had to bring some materials from home, uh, materials such as styrofoam balls or play-doh or some um, pipe cleaners. They had to choose uh, which cell they want to focus on. They could choose either an animal cell or a plant cell. According to that, they had to bring the materials to school. Right now, I'm making a mitochondria for my plant cell. It is the powerhouse of a cell. This is not a good one, but this is what I, I may look like. <laughs> This one is endoplasmic, which is come to both of them. We have cell walls, cell membrane, and we have both the bodies and like many other things in the cell. For animal cells, we are going to use the styrofoam balls because it's round. And then we're going to use flat styrofoam sheets to demonstrate the plant cells. And also we're going to differentiate that both of them in different colors. I'm making a plant cell. I just finished the cell wall and now I'm painting the inside. So we're gonna put organelles inside. So an animal cell is like the basic unit of every animal and it is like the smallest unit of life because most animal cells they are like circular compared to a plant cell it would usually be rectangular I was actually gonna mix the color to make it turn purple for the nucleus a nucleus is part of the cell that that directs the cell's activity and contains the genetic information of the cell Activity, students are going to learn the cell vocabulary without memorizing them and then they are going to have a better understanding of cell functions. <laughs> 